Welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name is Eric Worre, and today I want to talk to you about four steps to positive change in your life and in your network marketing business. The thing I love most about network marketing, uh, one of the things, is the personal development aspect of our profession. You only get to make what you are, so if you become more as a person, you become more as a leader, you get to earn more, not only short term, but long term. And I remember at the beginning of my career getting hooked on this concept of personal development because of the immediacy of the results that you get from just a little idea. I remember listening to personal development audio programs from Jim Rohn and Brian Tracy and Dennis Waitley and Les Brown and others. And the great thing about that is it helped to build my confidence, it helped to encourage me, it helped to in increase my language, increase my vocabulary. I started to be able to say the same things that these people were saying with my prospects or with my team, and I would start to get better results immediately. See, if you go engage in personal development in, in your work, you might not see immediate results. It, it might be a long time before you get a raise because of going and, and learning something. But in network marketing, you very often get immediate positive results. You get more customers, you get more distributors, you get more productivity, you get more action, you get more activity happening within, within your own self and within your organization. So today, talking about four steps to positive change, if there's something that you wanna change about your life, your business, your skills, I'm gonna give you four steps that will help you kind of navigate that change to take you from one place of frustration to another place of confidence boldness, um, self-image, self-esteem, self-worth. The first of those four steps is awareness. So uh, Einstein said the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. Awareness means taking a look at where are the stumbling blocks for you in your life and in your business. Where are the things that you are um, struggling with? What are the triggers that cause you to go into procrastination? What are the things that cause you to pull back when you should be taking action? So raising your level of awareness and just being really self-aware of the roadblocks in your personal self, your habits, or in your habits in your business. So awareness is number one, really deciding to be aware of your career, of your habits, of your skills, of where you're at in the profession, okay? So awareness is number one. Number two is understanding. Understanding the issue, understanding that the, the, the causes, like I said, I talked about triggers. There were some times when I would get rejected that I would, I didn't even realize it, but that one little tiny rejection caused me to pull back, it caused me to to start apologizing for the opportunity, caused me to, to change my posture, or it caused me just to hide and procrastinate like crazy. So just an understanding of your own self, understanding of your own wiring is a big thing. So awareness, number one, what are the issues? Two, what's causing them? The understanding of that really, really starts to make a difference. The third thing is hard for most people, and that's disassociation. If there are things or people or circumstances or environments in your life that cause these actions, you might need to disassociate from, from them, at least for a time until you're stronger. So disassociating with bad habits, disassociating with um, the triggers that are causing you to lose action, disassociating with the people that are dragging you down, disassociating with the, the negative influences of your life, disassociating from the things that rob and steal your time. So disassociation is number three. And number four is reconditioning your mind. Reconditioning your mind around a new habit. Reconditioning your mind around a new way to respond to difficulty. Reconditioning your mind. And how do you recondition your mind? By feeding your mind, one, with good ideas on a regular basis. That you're constantly, if you deal with procrastination, the reconditioning can start with getting a bunch of books about procrastination and reading those books to start to recondition your mind and think differently about that particular habit. 
Uh, it also, the reconditioning also comes from increasing your association with people who deal with these challenges, same challenges as you, but have dealt with them and moved past it. So if you surround yourself with people who don't procrastinate, they take action, that's gonna help you to recondition your mind. If you're constantly reading things that will help with that particular issue, that will start to recondition your mind. See what I mean? You put yourself in an environment that gives you the most chance for success. Part of that is disassociation. The other part of that is improving your associations with other people. And um, I talked about this at a series of events just recently. The idea, the thing that really changed me, that, that helped me have more positive change than any other thing, is I immersed myself around uh, good influence, good environments, good learning on a regular basis. I was immersed in it. I, I, was, I was surrounded by it. It was what I thought about all the time. It was the, the learning aspect really started to have an impact on me. It wasn't just here and there. It wasn't just today I'm struggling, so I'm gonna think about that today. I thought about it all the time. I read about it all the time. I watched videos on it all the time. I, I listened to audio programs all the time. I read books all the time. I hung out with people that were pushing me in the positive direction all the time. I was immersed. Now, I'm not saying you have to be full-time in order to be immersed. Um, many of you that are watching this have a job, and you're doing that to take care of your families, and that's fine. Uh, it's probably healthy for most of you. But what I will tell you is, are, is your mind immersed in the job, or is your mind immersed in the change necessary for your life and for your network marketing business to go to another level? See, your subconscious brain is always cranking. It's always thinking. And once you immerse yourself, pretty soon, when you're dreaming, your, your, your mind, you go to sleep, your mind is still engaged. Because of that immersion, your mind is still engaged with solving the problem. If you're immersed in something that, you know, every time you take a break from the job, every time you take lunch from the job, on the drive to the work, and on the drive back to work, your mind is engaged in improving your life. So the concept of immersion, creating an environment, if I, if I could do anything for you, I, I, if I could take you right now out of your current environment and immerse you for a period of time, whatever that is, 30, 60, 90 days, and I put you in an environment where every day you were reminded, you were learning, you were growing, you were surrounded with people um, that were moving in the same direction you want to move, in, move to, that immersion itself starts to create new habits. And then when you take yourself out of that environment, if, the, if those habits have been ingrained, you have a much better chance of being able to move forward. So immersion is really a big deal. So maybe it's the fifth step, okay? Five steps, maybe. Awareness, understanding, disassociation, reconditioning, and the overarching theme is immersing yourself in change and growth and development and and ability and skill and mindset and posture, immersing yourself in that. Um, those things will help you an awful lot. Now, here's the thing that I want you to understand. If you're doubting whether or not you can be successful in network marketing, you can let that go right now. Every person watching this, you're watching this for a reason. You have it within you to get better. You have it within you to grow and change and develop your skills. You have it within you to become so powerful and so influential that you help not only your family, but hundreds and thousands, maybe even tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people around the world because of your decision to get better, because of your decision. Now, you don't have to necessarily own that today, but just understand that I believe that for you right now. I believe it for you. You have it inside of you. Just don't ever let anyone um, distract you from that truth. The truth is, you're amazing, you're spectacular, the world hasn't seen the best that you have in you yet, and it's still in you. But you have to raise your awareness, you have to increase your understanding, you have to disassociate from negative influences, you have to recondition your mind, and you have to immerse yourself in an environment of change and growth and improvement and good ideas. Because if you'll do that, the world is yours. Network marketing success is yours. That top rank in your company is yours. Give it time, 
So long as, you know, hanging around in network marketing is not a guarantee for success. People say, oh, well, you know, the key to success is not to quit. That's, that's just a piece of it. There's tons of people that are not successful that haven't quit. You have to not quit and then you have to grow. You have to change, you have to get better. If you'll not quit and get better every single day and take action and face your fears and embrace the change that is within you, you can go all the way to the top. Hope you got value from this today. Hope you decide to make positive change happen in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.